you doing here? Oh, nice to meet you. Good so, to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. Uh, so, I heard uh, that you're playing in a new band. It's called uh, Equilibrium, right? Yes, yes, yes. I'm the new bass player of Equilibrium. You are, uh, so. You're new and tell us the story. Tell us. It was yes, the story. it is the story. I was quite bored one evening, sitting at home, uh, checking my Facebook mail, and there suddenly popped on a question of this one guy writing like, "Hello, Jen. My name is Robsa. I am the singer of." In English, because I heard he can't speak English. Uh, probably German. Yeah, you're right. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe he thinks I'm speaking English. I don't know. So I was like intrigued and I actually wanted to delete the message the minute it popped up because I get a million of messages like hey I am the singer of the band XYZ and we just finished our first demo would you like to uh, and um, well I was like reading it and he told me that he was looking for a new bass player and the band the band's name was familiar though I'm not into that pagan epic folk metal stuff um, so I just like read, continued reading, and he was like, yeah, we're looking for a bass player. And my answer was, hey man, wish you good luck for looking for a bass player, I am a guitar player, sorry. And his answer was like, and so? So that got me intrigued, and I kind of like... And so you're playing the bass right now? Yeah, right now I'm just sitting here having this incredible spontaneous interview with you. <laughs> But uh, I got myself a bass and uh, started practicing because it's something I've got high respect for bass players now after I learned this instrument. And um, well, yeah, now I added like five strings to my six strings so that I'm used to. 11 strings. I'm an 11 string player. God damn it. And I'm happy now because the guys are gorgeous. I don't know, have you heard about them so far? Yeah. Like, I, I think I heard about it once or twice. Ah. I, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, it's a cool it's a, band. You should check them out. And it's a cool story. <laughs> um, well, um, whoa, whoa. the plan is killing us. Um, so I think I have another question. Uh, to which kind of music do you listen to in, in private? Private? You mean at home? Well, take a look at it. <laughs> I told you that plan is going to kill us. Um, well, what I listen to is multi. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. It's dangerous in here. Like, yeah, kill it. Um, okay. Well, I like to listen to to classic hard rock style like ACDC or maybe even so, something like Nickelback and. Uh, so I'm, I'm more like a kind of hard rock music girl. Um, so this pagan epic stuff is new and totally rookie in this scene. Yes, it's interesting, definitely new inspiration and new style. So, um, and it's sometimes... <laughs> and sometimes um, it's also uh, like progressive stuff, like Dream Theater or... Free Kitchen, I love Free Kitchen. At the meantime, I'm, I'm listening to Free Kitchen like every day. Or Spokes Beard. Uh, and my heart is uh, my heart is beating for for uh, funk rock music like Mother's Finest or Extreme. And I was so so glad to see those guys. In oh yeah, I heard uh, you met uh, one of them at Hellfest in Frost. Yay! No, no. It was cool. It was quite cool. Oh. Okay, so last question for today. Um, if you had to go to a lonesome island. Me on a lonesome island. What were the three things you would grab and take with you to that kind of fucking island? The first thing would be stage tape. Because I tell you guys, stage tape holds the world together. It's connecting people. Even my refrigerator at home is fixed with stage tape. So, stage tape. Um, the second thing would be like... An incredible, huge box filled up with Rockstar energy drinks. Because coffee doesn't work with me anymore, so like, it's gone. And the third thing would be... 
a towel. And those of you who read the book know what I'm talking about, so never go travel without a towel. Okay, it was a pleasure, Chad. Uh, it was such a pleasure. Always a Enjoy the festival. Yeah. Maybe see you one day. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. And I think so.